Let's create a movement request in Oracle Cloud. Hi, I'm Linus, and in today's video, I'll show you how to manually create a requisition movement request in Oracle Cloud. We're logged into a demo environment here as Casey Brown, and what you want to do is go to the menu, then su supply chain execution and inventory management. So there are two ways to create a manual requisition movement request. The first way I just want to show you very quickly because it's not my preferred method. You can go to manage item quantities, search for an item. Let's take my own LE item again, search for it, open the sub tabs, click on the sub inventory line, and then you could request a movement request issue or transfer when you click on actions here. The more sophisticated version and the one that I suggest to use is go to the taskbar and then go to manage movement requests. And when you're in here, you can manage your movement requests or add a new one by clicking on the plus down here. That's what we're going to do now. This then opens the page, create movement requests. And here is where you put in all your information. I'll ignore the header because I only have one line. So I'll type in my item, tap out of here. Perfect. And what I want to bring your attention to now is the two different transaction types that we have on movement requests, because we can either request a transfer or request an issue. And look over here where it says destination account. If we just have a transfer, then nothing happens to this field, uh, stays grayed out. But if we have a movement request issue, this field becomes enabled. And that's because if I issue the material out, this is usually used for projects. So I'm issuing material to a project that we have, then it changes the account. Just understand that when you keep material in your inventory organization, it is in an inventory account. And when you move it, you have to change accounts, for example, to a project or expense account. For right now, I don't want to deal with this. And I just put movement request transfer so I'm want, I want to move material inside of the same inventory organization. So let's say I want three pieces of my item to go to the destination sub inventory uh, staging. You also see the source sub inventory over here, but I leave this empty on purpose because I want the movement request to allocate the material using the picking rules. So I don't care where it's coming from. Please pick according to our picking rules, first from this sub inventory, then from this sub inventory. So if you put something in here, it will narrow it down. If you leave it empty, then the picking rules will do their job. So that's what I want to do here. Just have a destination sub inventory and that's it. So we had an item, transaction type, quantity and destination sub inventory and then you can submit this movement request. So this is how we create the movement request, but that is only step one out of four. So make sure to watch the next video here on Panamir to learn how to run the process, allocating the material and to print the pick slips.